The startup scene in Hong Kong has gone from strength to strength these last five or six years, and I'm often asked how feasible it is for business investment visas to be granted to foreign nationals seeking to establish a new technology startup here. The actual extent of the challenge is, in fact, no more onerous than it's always been, namely that the foreign entrepreneur needs to be able to show that he or she can make a substantial contribution to the economy of Hong Kong. To this end, the normal three-legged business investment visa provability test must be satisfied, namely that the business must be housed in premises suitable for the business, there must be a clear pathway to the creation of local employment opportunities, and the business must be properly resourced, and that means sufficient cash and other business critical resources present so that the immigration department can be satisfied that the business will go on to become a solidly entrenched commercial enterprise. But here's the problem with most technology startups. Unless very well resourced from the outset, most of them are bootstrapped. Most of them are run according to the lean philosophy. And most of them actually fail. And the immigration department know this. Where the present approvability criteria demand a substantial contribution to the economy of Hong Kong, the vast majority of technology startups are simply unable to pass this test, making Hong Kong a very hard place indeed for foreign blood to come in and help Hong Kong transition into a fully fledged connection economy. There are ways to improve your chances of success though, um, and this requires a realignment of your plans and an increase in available capital to, to fund your, um, your ambitions.